Tusa's engine industry has developed a TF6000 turbofan engine intending to use in the defense products and energy industry. Tay aims to complete the production of the engine and ignite it for the first time in the first months of 2023. Tay General Manager Mahmoud Farouk Axit said, Our goal is to complete the production in the first months of the next year and to fire it in the first quarter. Tay participated in Technofest Black Sea, organized by the Turkish Technology Team Foundation and the Ministry of Industry and Technology. Speaking to Anadolu Agency, Axit stated that they participated in the event with a new product TF6000 turbofan engine. Emphasizing that they have been working on the engine for more than two years, Axit said, the design is finished, and it is in the production phase. Since the prototype of such a large engine is manufactured for the first time, it may take more than a year, but our goal is to complete the production in the first months of next year and start the engine in the first quarter. Pointing out that the TF6000 is the largest engine designed and developed in Turkey, Axit stated that his work in the jet group started with the TJ90 engine, followed by the TJ300, which broke the world record in its class. Axit said, we have made a leap from TJ300 to this engine. We are gradually increasing technology. We have also covered significant distances and achieved technologies with our TS1400 engine developed for Gokbi. We developed the TF6000 by applying them to a large engine after the TJ300. What you see here is our fair model, but its design and details are finished and currently in production. The next step will be the engine of the Turkish fighter aircraft. In other words, we are trying to reach the biggest and most technological engine as soon as possible by climbing the ladder's steps as fast as possible. Axit provided information on where the TF6000 can be used. This is a technology development engine. It has an aim. We specifically chose the power class of this engine. When needed, we chose a size that can meet Bayraktar Kizilelma's needs and a size that can fit it. Besides, we have fast assault boats. Four engines combined produce enough power for such a vessel. We have negotiations with BOTAS. We signed a protocol. Engines produced from aircraft engines are used to pump natural gas with very high power in natural gas pipelines. We also plan to produce our national natural gas compressors. We want to benefit from a derivative of this engine for electricity generation in the long term. The final production will power larger helicopters such as a TOC-2 by installing engine turbines to the back of the core of this engine. I think we can get 3,500 to 4,000 horsepower from the core of this engine for a helicopter. Answering the questions regarding the final stage of the TS-1400 engine that will power the Gokbi helicopter, Tay General Manager Axit said, as the project started in 2017, we have a few more years to go according to the project calendar. Unfortunately, since it started after the helicopter, it comes later. We try to do it as fast as we can. Although we have time in the project calendar, the president of the Defense Industry Agency asked me for the delivery of the engine. We delivered the prototype, but it was for integration studies, not for flying. Currently, our engine can easily produce 1,570 horsepower in our trials. We plan to deliver our first engines to be used in manned flight at Gokbi before the end of this year. <laughs>